today I am coming in here to show y'all and Lord my desk is a mess huh okay so I'm coming to show y'all some of the recent um this is not so recent but it was laying here and I thought why not show y'all <laughs> okay so there is no denying that if you were to say Tiffany do you want to go to the mall shopping or do you want to go to the thrift store I would choose the thrift store every single time okay so now that we have that out of the way um I will show you some of these are thrift store finds some of these are um eBay I think eBay yeah, and uh, I went to Vintage Market. So if you don't know about Vintage Market, they go all over the country and they have sellers of vintage stuff. So you may want to look into seeing if they're anywhere close to you. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, I did a live view of what the vintage market looks like which was very overwhelming and super cool so um if you don't follow me on instagram why not let's see mm, not sure okay go follow me anyway so now to show you guys what this is i thought this was so cool because it's i don't really know exactly what they were used for but it says arkansas um agricultural mechanical college dining hall so I guess these if I would have read that I would know that that means that they probably gave out like tickets it looks like in increments of 25 cents so this must be like really old because I don't know what you would find in the dining hall for 25 cents in 2018 so I have a whole little thing of that I don't know oh I like doing that oh, no, no, no. okay okay all right I'm gonna try to keep it a uh, professional <laughs> professional not okay anyway so this was a cool little diary okay and so let's see if it has a date on it because I cannot remember this is a 1948 um, diary and every single day there is an entry into this diary okay so I love the handwriting oh let's see in 1948 Gerald not sure what his last name was got fifteen dollars for rent rent on a house really 1948 you can rent a house for fifteen dollars wow that's pretty cool um so this is um a very neat like it i don't know ever all of it has time so let's see if i can make it out something to work down uh yeah i don't know i can't read this man's handwriting and i'm assuming it is a man because back in the day ladies handwriting was way pretty i mean i guess today our handwriting is way prettier than men so i'm gonna assume this was a man's journal uh, based on the fact that it probably had his name in the front tiffany that would be correct gerald something melvin want to mark I don't know what his name was but this is a cool size so it fits in the palm of my hand when I purchased this on I think eBay I got a really great deal and I thought it would make a perfect journal so that's why I bought it then I got these are form accountant books and income tax records and this is from 1956 and I really the not only the fact that it's a ledger style with the numbers three cows sold for four hundred and six dollars and eight cents veal corn wheat so you can see that um, some of these have writing I will hear some copies of some farm stuff plows and um i thought that the graph paper also the numbers anything like that kind of um is interesting that you can use in collage um and i'm sure that my friend michelle just said i said collage like collage anyway so um all the numbers and graphs and um i really thought that this was fun and cool and could be a great um 
opportunity for either making junk journals or making um, whatever I want to make with it. Hell, it's mine, so I can make whatever I want to. All right, the next one that I got was in the same lot with this farm book thing is the Community Farm Bureau Minute Book. And so let's see. It has a little typing in here. Oh, Lula Wheaton from Eagle, Michigan. Mm-hmm. Yep, we got a letter. And then I love the fact that it had these tabs on it. So membership roll had some very interesting like papers in there. Like that. This um, Community Farm Bureau. And this is in 1922, it looks like, if that is correct. That's weird because it says 1922, but up here it says 194. And then here it references the date 1936. So, to be quite honest, I'm not sure what the date is on it. That says 1944, so. But um, has some nice handwriting. Um, the, the paper is interesting and would create a nice collage medium there so that was another one and like i say that one came with this one in the lot so all right so this is a more recent one actually yesterday i went and my thrift store was having a pound sale okay so i've never experienced anything like that but what it was is it was large cardboard containers that had donations for the thrift store um and they brought them from all over all of these different thrift stores brought them all over and you went in and you could dig through on i guess like on on i guess they inspect everything that comes in and kind of goes through it and sifts through it so all of this stuff the good the bad the ugly it was all thrown into a cardboard box and so i may go back this morning <laughs> Anyway, so um, I got this for pretty much free because I found it in one of the cardboard boxes after I had weighed my basket. And check it out. It is a handmade leather purse. And I love this closure on here. And then, uh, look, I mean, look at the thick leather. So, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it a purse or I'm actually going to um, turn this into some type of journal and maybe cut the top off and use this as one clock. I'm really not sure. I really hate to cut it up and I really could totally retro this and wear this because that's how I roll. I don't care if it's in style or not. But the patina here and that metal, it, it just, I just love it. So... If you see me sporting this, know that I'm a trendsetter. And you may not wear a retro leather bag handmade, but this girl right here will. So I loved it. I wanted to show y'all guys. <clears throat> not a typical like paper thing. This I also got yesterday. And when it caught my eye because it said 30, 365 ways to day to fight daily stress. And then, what I got it for was not necessarily the coloring part, but I love all, check out all of these little quotes. <clears throat> Quality is not an act, it's a habit. Like, so I thought that this would be amazing. <clears throat> amazing. Not just amazing, but amazing to use in my journal. How great is that? So, um, I don't know because it was about a pound. I have no idea how much that cost, but it was probably cents. It was 50 cents, a pound, 50 cents a pound. So, I'm not sure if that weighs a pound, but it was 50 cents or less. And so, I thought that it had all of these cute quotes. And I'm going to use it. So you'll see that coming soon in my journal. Okay, so let me go to this one. And then this is the best find of the day, I think. Okay. So this is a roll that I got from the Vintage Market of non-used, like, receipt paper from 
some type of motor company motor cars commercial i have no idea when this was from but i know it must be old so i thought this is going to be super cool to use in junk journals and projects and collage materials so i mean it's 191 so this is from 1910 or 1919 somewhere along those lines in between those dates i guess so I'll put that to the side. Okay, are you ready, ladies and gentlemen, for this most magnificent find ever? Okay, maybe not ever, but it was in the top. It was in my top five. So this is a ledger, as you see. As you can see, it has had some better days, and I really wish that this book could talk to me because I'm sure that it could tell me some really amazing stories. And I can't bring myself yet to use it um, for art, but I um, have a scanner that will be here today um, that is like a... Um, quality enough to be able to do art scanning so I'm going to try to scan some of these maybe create some printables for you guys who may uh, but it's from 1828 stop talking Tiffany and start flipping right okay so they have all these little giblets and and stuff in here y'all like it when I say like giblets anyway oh lord y'all I'm really like this all the time isn't it scary okay so as you can see, this is from 1849 here. Um, it does start in 1810. I'm not really 100% sure as to what this, but can you just look at the, look at the quality of the handwriting. <sighs> I'm lusting after that. And just to think we don't teach cursive writing in school, or I did hear the other day that it's coming back, but. I guess that's neither here or there because it'll never be exactly like this. But just the penmanship, I love the fact that it had the letters on it. And just, Lord, just, the, look at the M's. Like all of the M's are so in line. And what I really loved about this one, and it kind of drew me in, was the fact that it doesn't have any like lines. So it had no you know like horizontal lines to be able to to keep up with where it was it has these really faint I don't even know if the camera can pick it up but I'll show you over here like look at all of the wear in this okay you see how those two lines are made and like they're so perfect it's like you can see like a very faint like little indention almost an embossing of the line but it's not really ink it's more like um I don't even know how to explain it so I guess I'll just shut up and show y'all but all of these are doctors over here and then over here is the payments so this would match this in most typical um and i love how it says like 31 and a half 31 and a half i don't know how you have a half of something but there's like 10 as like a currency amount so there's 1810 1810 you can tell that the binding has come across come like loose there that's not really a big deal to me 18 this is 1811 this is another 1810 like I think everything in here was 1810 and then the writing goes to I'm gonna say about a quarter of the book is written in Okay, but I just love, but all of these are doctors, doctor, 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 twisted tobacco, iron pot, sundries. I had to look that up because that's pretty much what I think they mean by miscellaneous. Um, but yeah, 1810. So, and then there was some like, um, so today I'm afraid but I will see him. I don't know. There was something going on here. I don't know if they started using that as a journal at the end or what. Um, I did notice that. Where at? In here, they had an entire. And I don't know if this was from the first owner. 
or if it was well this is from 1840 July 15th 1840 so this one is talking about original poetry and they have collage cut it out of the newspaper and put it in here so I don't know that this was the original owner or maybe the next owner was going to use this as some type of journal it's really really hard to tell but that was the only page that had that particular collage and if you look at the bottom of this you can see like there was like writing up under here I can see a little bit of writing so I kind of feel like there it was written on and then they collaged over it I'm not sure but as you can see it's got amazing pages it's got amazing coloring um like look at the, it's just I hope y'all can see this it really is mind-blowing so I'm going to allow these pages to live on in creations of art and I just really love using the vintage the vintage qualities of papers and just how thick this paper was back then it's just crazy like I feel like the paper that we use today it, it's not gonna last like this because the quality of the paper is gonna just break down where this just hasn't like it really hasn't broke down that much huh okay I was gonna say there was some writing back here and then this little uh, giblet of some type of material which I'm in love with by the way and then I did not know this in, in when I got this and then I opened it and in the back of this ledger I'm gonna keep y'all here all day no I'm not I'm finishing up I'm getting a little windy today sorry guys um this was in 1879 July the 24th this paper okay and so I'm kind of being careful because I don't want to destroy the thing but what I thought was so interesting and I don't even know if y'all are going to be able to see this but the paper wasn't even cut like, you know, where we would cut the paper and you would have front and back, front and back. It's front and back, but it's not even cut in the top. Like, I have no idea what that's all about. Maybe that's how they did the papers back then. I'm unsure about it, but I think it's pretty dang cool, right? And so, I don't know if they were keeping this because it had poetry in it. Because, to be honest, I haven't even looked at it. It does look like um, poetry... Or some type of story and maybe that's why they were keeping it and they were gonna put it in here and collage it down like they did the other I'm not sure but I thought that this was an amazing find I'm super excited um, to have it I'm hoping that you guys enjoyed watching all of the cool stuff that I have gotten in the recent weeks and I hope um, that you'll go follow me on Instagram and I will be doing some new videos and some stuff that I got in the works. So make sure you hit the subscribe button. Leave me a comment down below. Tell me what you think of my haul. And I'll see you guys next time. Toodaloo!